This video will demonstrate the basics of Sakai's Resources tool from an instructor's point of view. Resources is the central storage hub of your Sakai site where important files are stored. Instructors can upload files to resources and can create folders to organize them. For example, in this course site, the instructor has a PowerPoints folder where she puts files from class lectures and a syllabus folder for syllabus related documents. In your course site, you'll find that resources is empty at first. Or you may find that your resources file contains an image file like this one. If you added an image to your overview page back in module 3, that image file is stored here in resources. As you learn more about Sakai, you'll discover that several different tools will store files and resources for you. Let's look at how you can add content to resources. First, we'll create some files, some folders, <laughs> to keep things organized. To do that, beside the top level folder here, click on Actions and choose Create Folders. Enter a name for the folder, such as PowerPoints. You can click Create Folders now, or you can click here to add another folder. Let's do that. I'll make another folder called Images, and then I'll add another called Worksheets. I'll click on Create Folders now, and voila, we have three new folders. Let's put some files in the PowerPoints folder. To do that, beside PowerPoints, click on Actions and choose Upload Files. You now have two choices. You can drag one or more files from your computer and drop them here. Or you can click in this box and choose a file or several files to upload. Be aware that there is a size limit per upload. Sakai will not let you upload more than 25 megabytes of files at one time. The files here are well below that, so it's not a problem. I'll just go down and click on Continue, and the files are uploaded here into the PowerPoints folder. So in a similar way, I can upload some files to the Images folder by clicking Actions here beside Images, Upload Files, click select the file or files I want to add, and then continue to upload the files. Notice that files that have something in them show either a plus or a minus sign on the folder. If I click on the plus, it will expand the folder out and show me its contents, or click on minus to close it back up. Clicking on the folder name takes you inside the folder. To get back out to the main screen where all folders are listed, I can click on Resources up here at the top. It returns me to the main screen of Resources. It's important to know that each Sakai site has its own Resources area. By default, anything you put in Resources in a particular course site can be seen by everyone who has access to that site. So that includes your students. Many instructors actually hide the Resources tool from students and use a different tool called Lessons to provide files to students. But even in this case, those files are stored over in Resources. In short, you can add files and folders to Resources and other Sakai tools such as Lessons can also add files and folders to Resources for you. Thus, no matter which way you use Sakai, it's important to have a good basic understanding of the resources tool. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.